In the 1840s, a prestigious Vienna hospital held a dark secret. For new mothers in the doctor's ward, giving birth was terrifyingly deadly, a condition they called childbed fever. A young Hungarian physician working there was haunted by a number. Why did so many die in his ward, while the one run by midwives next door was so much safer? He obsessed over every detail, searching for an answer. Then, a tragedy provided a clue. When a friend died from a scalpel wound sustained during an autopsy, his symptoms were identical to the mother's. The link was undeniable. He theorized that invisible particles were being carried from the autopsy room to the maternity ward on the hands of the doctors themselves. His solution was revolutionarily simple. He mandated hand washing. The death rate plummeted almost overnight. But his discovery wasn't celebrated. It was ridiculed. The medical elite were offended by the idea that their hands, the hands of gentlemen, could be carriers of death. His ideas were rejected. The hand washing stopped. The deaths returned. Broken and ostracized, the doctor's public campaign against his critics grew frantic. He was committed to an asylum, silenced by the very community he tried to save. In a final tragic irony, he died there from an infection in a wound on his own hand. Decades later, germ theory would prove he was right all along.